What's up, everybody? Austin Fractal, Fractal Elevate Performance, going live for like the 80th time. Uh, what's up, everybody? So today's topic is, can you spot reduce fat? Um, this is going to be a pretty short live just because, you know, long story short, no, you can't. You cannot spot reduce fat. Um, but let me tell you why. And let me tell you a little bit about how that all kind of works and goes together. Um, so there's basically kind of like a myth out there um, that's been like perpetuated over time through like, you know, commercials and companies and things like that, where they're like, you know, do these workouts or, you know, uh, you know, wear these specific things that will like make fat come off of your body in specific areas. Like, and like the theory behind it is like, oh, if I work out my arms, uh, I'm going to lose fat in my arms. Or if I, you know, work out my abs, uh, I'm going to lose belly fat. Um, and it's not true. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's not how, um, you know, biology works with humans. Um, it just doesn't work that way. Um, how it does work, though, is that basically, you know, it's different for everybody and how you lose fat. Um, what it comes down to is you have to lose you, one, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So that way your, you know, your body will, you know, use your fat stores as energy. Um, but how that works in terms of like, you know, where you lose the fat, it all is based on you as an individual, uh, your individual genetics, your, you know, that, that's what it comes down to. And so how it works though, is that because like there's been studies out there and there's like, it's, it's a total myth. You cannot target fat loss. You cannot spot reduce like fat. It, they're the same thing. Um, you can't do either of those. You can't do that at all. It's not, it's not a thing. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times, like I said, like people think they can target that like fat loss on certain areas of the body. That's just not how it works. But how it does work is it's based on your personal genetics. Um, and it's different for everybody. Me versus my brother. It's completely different. Um, for me, like I store, I store fat on my abdominal midsection area, first and foremost. And then, you know, it's, it's, it kind of like depends as I go along. That's how it goes for you. And the order that you gain that weight that's the order that in, in the reverse of that, that's how you're going to lose it. Think of it as like a pyramid. Okay. Like, uh, when I'm skinny, I gain weight in my midsection, I gain weight in my, you know, face, I gain weight in my ass, I gain weight in my, uh, you know, my upper back or whatever it may be, or my legs. Okay. So then when you start to lose weight, that's how it's going to come off is legs, back, face, midsection. Okay. So, you know, it's just kind of a luck of the draw kind of thing in terms of how you're going to look as you start to lose weight. Um, that's how it is for everybody. Um, they've done studies where they've even tested and looked at it, where they've had somebody, you know, work out only one half of their body, uh, like vertically speaking, and then not work out the other half of their body. And there's no like difference in terms of like fat loss or anything like that. It just comes off of your body, like basically in the reverse order that you gained it. Um, and you gain it in the order that you, you know, you know what I'm coming out or what I mean by that. Um, and so, you know, they've even done it where they've tested upper body versus lower body. Um, and there was no significant evidence of like that being a thing either. So like, it's, it's not a thing. Um, you know, you cannot target fat loss. Um, and kind of think of it like how I mentioned it with it being like a pyramid or like a ladder or whatever. It's like, you climb up the ladder and then you got to climb back down the ladder. You go up that pyramid and you got to come down that same pyramid in terms of, you know, how you're losing or gaining fat. Um, that's just how it works. And, you know, there's no, like if there, if, if you could target fat loss, you know, that. The, there'd be a everybody would do it if that if it was a thing everybody would do it um and so you you can't um that's just how it is and so i hope that that helps kind of explain and make sense of you know how that works if you you know believed in that it's one of the it's one of the most like like widespread fitness myths out there and it's just not true so um yeah that's basically what my live is going to be about today hope that makes sense Hope that puts it into perspective. If you were somebody that, you know, kind of, you know, thought about, ha had thought that before they saw this, um, you can't target fat loss um, and it's gonna, it's based on your genetics. So hope that helps. Hope you have a great Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. And yeah, if you guys need any help with coaching or like losing weight or gaining weight or putting on muscle, let me know. 
Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday. See ya.